afternoon, Oswego City School District staff, families, community, and stakeholders. This is Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Mathis Calvin. I just want a few minutes of your time today so we can together go through the new state guidance issued just over a week ago that impacts our schools and what our next steps are as well. Prior to this information coming out, Oswego City School District had a plan in place to bring back all in-person students for four days, and today would have been the first day of implementing that plan. I understand your frustration over the situation, and we at the district were disappointed to delay our plans as well. We do hope soon to hear our hallways and classrooms uh, the fullest they've been, with laughter and learning abound. This week, we will be meeting with a community committee to discuss our plans with a draft coming out shortly thereafter. This is one of the new requirements that had to be done prior to making any new changes to our in-person learning. At this time, we are very optimistic that we will be able to bring back our fourth through sixth grade students for more in-person learning soon, and we'll discuss options with the committee about a minimum of a four day a week with a longer daily schedule per the guidance. For our secondary students, we're moving forward with the hybrid model we have been using for the past month and a half for middle and high school students. We have been cohorting them, and as a reminder, cohorting involves creating groups of students that are separated from one another by at least six feet throughout the entire day. State guidance reads, in counties with high risk of transmission, Elementary schools can maintain physical distancing of at least three feet between students in classrooms and cohorting is recommended when possible. However, in middle and high schools, three feet between students in classrooms is recommended only when schools can use cohorting. When schools cannot maintain cohorting, middle and high school students must maintain physical distancing of at least six feet between students in classrooms. Oswego County, due to recent uptick in COVID-19 transmission, is presently a red zone per the CDC, meaning due to space constraints and class size, we must continue our current cohorting hybrid model. We're hopeful that we can add at least additional considerations to seven through 12th grade schedules. Please know all districts in the county are working with this new guidance and nearly every other county school, including those smaller than us, we go in the student population is still cohorting its secondary students. Many are still utilizing cohort and hybrid models for elementary students too. We're all in the same boat here and every district is having these same discussions and involving their community. While the new guidance, which has nearly 100 guidance points and or new requirements, allows for less restrictive physical distancing at the elementary level, the busing guidelines have not changed. Six feet of space between unrelated students is still in effect. Accordingly, all of our planning efforts will be centered around this fact. While the news of changes and delays is understandably frustrating, I ask for and appreciate everyone's patience while we lay out a plan that complies with these new regulations and that is also best for the Oswego City School District community, and most importantly, gives us the maximum safety possible for our students and staff. I encourage everyone watching to visit our website at oswego.org to view the full released guidance and frequently asked questions from my letter posted Friday. If you have thoughts as you read or any questions come to mind, please reach out to the district by logging on to our website and going to our COVID-19 webpage. On the page, you will find a question and answer link. All questions can be shared on this link. Once shared, we will be sure to get back to you with answers as soon as we possibly can. I appreciate the amount of feedback and community input my office has already seen for the upcoming plans and want to give a special thank you to those who have volunteered to serve on our community uh, committee. I will be in touch before the week's end as we finalize our plans and solidify new dates to bring our students back for more in-person learning. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful rest of your day.